Okay, YouTubers, let me, uh, I'm doing something here. I'm propagating some blackberry plants. And this is a misting system that I made. I don't know whether you can see the mist or not. To get a little closer, I'm going to go turn it off, but, uh, and I'll tell you a little bit more about it. Don't want get, to get the camera wet. Anyway, this is the, uh, a misting system, and I'm propagating blackberries. I'm going to also propagate some kiwi. Uh, my, my brother-in-law has some, uh, a fig tree that has really done well in the last two or three years, so I'm going to probably go get some cuttings from that. And uh, I've got some grapevines. I'm going to get some cuttings from that. So I'm going to propagate several things. Let me turn this misting system off so I can get a little closer. Okay, these are the blackberries that I've propagated. Basically, I just uh, I tipped the end of them. Uh, I was pruning the blackberries anyway. Uh, some of them had grown to six feet tall, and you want them about three feet tall, and I've, I've been waiting, uh, I've let them go too far, and the main reason because I was waiting on my misters here. Got these, I believe, from Drip Works, I believe that was the name of it, um, buy the, if you buy some, buy also buy the half inch, the saddle here, it's half inch glue to, uh, I believe they call that a one eighth or a quarter, well, I, I don't know, it's, anyway, the, the misters, um, screw in there. I put a little Teflon tape in them, screwed them in there. Probably didn't need the Teflon tape, but anyway, screwed them in there. Um, they, uh, these are the, I think, 0.75 gallons per hour misters. They've got a smaller one than that, and they just didn't hardly put out anything. Uh, it depends on where you are. Now, if you're up north and it's, it's not as high as it is here, you may want to go with a, a smaller, uh, smaller nozzle. Buy a couple of different sizes. Two dollars a piece, two fifty, something like that. So you can uh, they're brass. They've got a screen inside, and buy the half inch saddle from them. I would say because I used I had some that I used for rabbit waters, and it's basically the same thing except these are deeper. Again, this nozzle has a has a screen up in it. It makes this thing about uh, three quarters of an inch long. The rabbit waterer uh, saddles. PVC saddles here is what that's called, I think. We're not, uh, and that's not a, just a saddle. That's a, come all the way around. A saddle, I think, actually just is a half moon and it glues up in there. So this is probably not a saddle. It's just, it's a T, PVC T with a uh, screw in for the, um, a deep screw in for the misters. So uh, I would uh, suggest you buy the uh, T's when you buy the, um, Misters, but anyway, uh, I, this is something I'm trying. I have failed miserably at this before, but it was because I did not have the misting system, and they got real dry, and I didn't water them like I should, and even even watering them once a day in the afternoon, and the kind of heat we had around here, and they just uh, they failed. So these have been here a couple of days. They still look great. Still look just like I when I pulled them. Uh, supposedly, uh, uh, watch Mike's Backyard Nursery, Mike's Backyard Nursery System, or uh, I think that's what it's called on YouTube. He's got a website, but it's also on YouTube. And he tells you how, what to make, the mix here to make. This is half uh, perlite and half uh, peat moss. And I think he recommends either vermiculite or perlite. They didn't have, uh, this is perlite, they didn't have vermiculite. Basically the same thing. And he tells you all about, uh, he, he's got a good YouTube channel, tells you all about uh, watching them. And you can, after a few weeks, you pull them up and see if they're rooting. And you, just, you know, you put it right back in there. It's not a big deal. The reason you use this mix is because it, it expands easily or the, the roots can, can root in it easily. It's not real heavy and coarse. Well, it is coarse, but it's not real heavy and packed. And uh, he he also says you can use sand, just regular uh, playground sand. So you know, kind of kind of watch his videos. Don't take my word for it. He is an expert. I am not. But this is something I'm doing. Uh, I'm going to add another mister. I've got three, one, two, and three, and I'm going to add another one right here because I'm going to add at least one more. Uh, tub. These tubs are about four feet long and I'm going to add another tub right there and I may even come out here 
and uh, and and put two or three more because I'm gonna try to do grapes. I'm gonna try to do some kiwi. Uh, I think I'm through with the tomatoes, but uh, kiwi grapes, things like that, from vine, um, and just see how they go. Uh, the misting system is the key. It's what he said. It's what I have. Uh, well, I haven't. I found that without it, you're gonna they're gonna croak. So anyway, um, give it a shot if you want to propagate some blackberries. If a neighbor has some blackberries and they're pruning them, it's in some parts of the country probably time to prune them. In the south, it's probably I, I was a little late, but I was waiting on my misters to come in uh, and waiting. Heck, uh, my I was waiting to put all this together. My misters came in a week or two ago, and I didn't do it. But anyway. Now it's done. Uh, I'm gonna turn them back on and get them misting again, and uh, try to make some new blackberries. Hopefully, uh, in a few months, I can. Uh, they will have rooted enough to plant these in gallon pots, gallon containers, and um, get them ready for uh, to to make the winter in the containers, and maybe even put them in the greenhouse. I, I'll need to read up a little bit more about how to uh, winter them, uh, and. Uh, and then uh, maybe sell some. I'll either sell them or I'll just plant me a whole new uh, uh, several rows of blackberries. But I, I, I would really like to start a little backyard nursery business. Okay, we go.